Ladies and gentlemen, the purpose of this video is one thing and one thing only. To tell you how to change out the batteries for the LED light on a Statgear T3 auto rescue tool. I had this for about a month and I ran down that battery just showing it to people and casual use. It takes two batteries and them fuckers about six dollars a piece. So really from now on I'm only going to use it in case of emergencies. Anyway, I don't remember any instructions coming with it. I could be wrong. I could have just thrown them out. But uh, it doesn't really say anywhere on the website. There's no videos telling you how to do it. And I went so far as to buy little Torx screwdriver bits to try to get it apart and take these bolts out, which was really unnecessary. And if you try to turn this, it'll just turn this bolt on the other side. So it was really all a bunch of trouble for nothing. And um, the nice fellow at the Radio Shack, he noticed that you have this little section here, and all she's got to do is take a fingernail and pry that sucker out of there. Comes right out! Would you just look at that? Sometimes you just gotta look at it. So these batteries, let me let me specify them for ya. It's a it's a CR1220. That's Charlie Roger 1220. Alright? You can get them at the Radio Shack or Batteries Plus. Whatever you like. And uh, they just go in there like that. Stack up two of them face up. And then uh, you just pop that bad boy in. And bam. So, you know, I just made this video because it might save a couple people. A little bit of trouble that I had to go through, you know. And now that trouble is justified because you know now. You know. So I hope you enjoy my video. It really is a pretty good knife, you know. It's nice, sharp. I got a sweet deal on it at govx.com. That's G-O-V-X.com. If you're uh, in the fire or police military, you get a discount. So... There's all kinds of helpful info for you. Have a nice day.